Hi, I'm Mike with Scribble Maps, and today I'm going to show you how to stylize and create a custom base map. To start off, I'm going to go into the bottom right hand corner and choose custom to customize our base map. In simple mode, I can remove labels such as the political labels, points of interest, landscape, transit, and so on. I can also customize the geometrical labels. So I can take away political boundaries, points of interest. And in advanced mode, I can adjust and customize the individual features and the elements within those features. Those elements being the labels, either the stroke or the fill, or the geometric components like the fill and the stroke. Right here, I just changed the landscape from the white background it was to blue or gray. I'm now moving on and I am going to go and change the individual color of the roads. Now I can select all the elements including the text and the fill, and it will change the color. Or I can go into the element panel and only select certain elements of the feature I want to change. So right here, I'm only changing the fill of the highway, not the text. Now that I've stylized the base map, I'm going to use our polygon tool to highlight a specific area of the map. When selecting the polygon tool, I can adjust the color of the fill and the transparency of the fill. Here, I'm making it 25 and I'm making it a grayish black fill. You can also do this process automatically by going into the search toolbar in the top left hand corner and searching by country, city, state, province, zip code or postal code and the region fill will do this automatically in the bottom right hand corner you can see where it says background and data i'm going to go add crop and create crop from polygon and it's going to create a crop based on that polygon i manually drew out I can now change the color and the transparency of the crop so we can focus in on the area I want to highlight. Using our text label tool, I am going to add some text labels to the different areas. So right here, I can pick the color of the text. And then using the edit measure tool, I can rotate the text and scale the size of the text as well. Now that I have my label, I'm going to use the marker tool to add some markers. We can upload our own custom markers or I can use the search function within the marker panel and select from the thousands of markers that we already have preloaded in Scribble Maps. Once I set the marker, I can add shrink on zoom. If you notice here, where I set shrink on zoom, it will pin the marker to that zoom level. If you don't have shrink on zoom set, then the markers will scale as you zoom out. What I'm doing now is I'm adding some more polygons to the areas that I want to specifically highlight. And then I'm going to use the whole split or cut feature to create donuts or holes within my main map to highlight these areas more.
I'm now going to save the map. I will give it a title and a description. And then I'm going to go to save image. And now I can save this as a landscape portrait. I can pick a whole bunch of predetermined sizes. If you go into the larger poster size, you will see that there's the preview and then the detail view. The detail view shows you the exact detail of what the image would look like when zoomed in very close. The preview shows the entire image. I am then going to hit upscale to print, which gives it a higher resolution, especially when it's a larger image. And then I'm going to generate that image, save it to my computer, and print it.